the Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is uh, the second is the second um, discrete distribution we'd like to share with you, and it's defined to be. Uh, here we're just looking at give you an idea about Poisson. Later on in the course, we'll, we'll give you more details about how does it uh, evolve and uh, how we apply it. But now we're just exposing you to different types of random variables. So for n Villerage, Poisson comes from binomial. They are related. If we make n very large, and then the point of occurrence with approach 0, we keep n times p constant equal to b. Later on, as I said, we'll explain the physical sense. We get the binomial becomes Poisson. When we do binomial, we have discrete events. We flip coins one, two, three, four times. But in Poisson, it's very similar to binomial, but with continuous time. Imagine that you are at the door of, of a, a shop, and in any instant of time, either somebody gets in or does not get in. So this is like a Poisson experiment when the time becomes continuous. Uh, if we use the math and derive, we'll get the following expression for the Poisson distribution. We're not interested now here in, 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 the, in how we derive things, but it's just show you. It's a PDF. It has an area equal to 1. It covers uh, certain scenarios. We can control P one quantity p and um, based on this p which is equal to n times p we can get different uh, pdfs so p equal to 1 p equal to 4 10 the cdf is just the integral of that so you expect the same expression except for uh, uh, the, the delta function is now unit step function this is called the Poisson distribution again i'd like to emphasize that that uh, here we are just sharing with you how other distributions look like b is positive and it's a real constant quantity. When to apply Poisson distribution? The Poisson distribution uh, applied to wide variety of uh, counting type applications. The number of detective units in a product line, the number of telephone calls made during period uh, period of time, the number of election uh, or electron sorry electrons emitted from a small section of a cathode in a given time interval. So all counting types were events occur any time okay so we will be interested in capital T time we will be defining the average rate of arrival and we'll ask ourselves a question how many arrivals in uh, in a given uh, X time interval so B now is nothing but the interest time times lambda and we substitute here and of course now K is our uh, X variable So examples of Poisson distribution. At a gasoline station, cars arrive according to Poisson distribution at a rate of 50 per hour. This is lambda. There is one gallon pump and it, is, it takes one minute to obtain fuel. So what is the ability that a waiting line will occur? So waiting line will occur if we have more than one customers. So it's one minus the ability of having of, of the CDF of one. It's having two, three, four, or five. And we have lambda given in the question to be 50 per hour. And if you want to make it into minutes, it's become 50 divided by 60 per minute. We just need to use the same units. Capital T is one minute. The average processing time is one minute per, per car. So we now multiply them by each other and we get B, which is five over six. If you multiply these two numbers, you get five over six. Now we have the CDF from the previous uh, slide for the for, for the Poisson distribution. We can just plug in the number. I get the product of having 0 or 1. And here is the equation that we, we have utilized. And the answer is 0 0.2032. The product of waiting in a line is 20%. If we change the serving time, if we change the number of car arrivals, accordingly we, we, we get the different probability. This is a very important question that we want to answer. If you want to hire a new employee, you have two barbers at the barber shop, two workers, or if you have um, to install a new gas station, so you always uh, want to know how much is the waiting time. Here's a practice problem. It says packets arrive at an internet router of at a rate of 20 packets per minute, and the router needs three seconds to serve. We have lambda, we have t. 
if the router can serve four packets at a time okay fine the probability that new incoming calls will not be served this is like asking the question of what's the probability of having five or more and if we are told it's Poisson you just use the equation okay remember these equations for the CDF so you can find the probability, probability here of getting um, a certain number okay it's right for five and more or you can you can try it for zero one two three up to four and then you can subtract because the total probability is one and we get uh, four so please try it and verify that your answer is 3.66 times 10 raised to the power minus 3 this is supposed to be a good system because uh, in every 1000 packets we have only 3.66 is not being served of course it depends on the application whether it's good or bad but please verify this and if you get it right share with us in, in the comment section that's the detailed answer the Poisson distribution we have 20 uh, packets per minute and then we have the total time of serving you multiply them you get okay if you want to use the same units in 20 divided by 60 I got one here and these are the probabilities for every scenario I tried 0 1 2 3 up to 4 to get probability of having more than 4 it's 1 minus and we got the following answer so you can pause the video and and spend more time here to get this straight another fantastic distribution which is maybe logical is the uniform distribution in the uniform distribution we having a, we are distributing things uniformly between two quantities let's say a and b so everything is uniform so we have a constant now to get the area always to be one to make it a valid bdf of course the width is b minus a this is the width so the height must be 1 over b minus a to make the multiplication the area equal to 1 so normally we define the uniform distribution as such from a to b it's 1 over b minus a and it's 0 otherwise of course we are assuming here that b is greater than a otherwise you get a negative number which is not does not make sense so a could be anything and b should be greater than a so that we get a positive quantity here the CDF of the uniform distribution would be straightforward it's going to be 0 for values less than a it's going to be 1 for values less than b and it's going to be linear increase a straight line equation going from 0 to 1 here so the equation for a straight line we know the slope okay the slope should be okay uh, 1 over b minus a and then we can come up with the line equation so just integrate this and you you get the second equation there are lots of applications for the uniform distribution in fact in many cases we assume things to be in all uniform if you don't know otherwise that's the continuous version of the uniform the uniform distribution is a continuous because all values here are possible you can you can think of a discrete version where we have deltas if you say that I'm picking numbers between 0 and 10 uniformly then of course you have the exponential distribution is defined uh, uh, an additional example we can think of it it, it follows the it respect the BDF equation where we have uh, an area equal to 1 it's defined to be this way it's 0 for values less than a and it's the following decay exponential decay of course if you integrate from i to infinity of this quantity you'll get 1 the CDF is nothing but the integral here's how it looks of course there are certain applications for the exponential distribution once more we're just being exposed to different types of distributions the important ones we'll deal with later on in queuing theory and network applications they use this very frequent very frequently so here we have the PDF equation and the CDF equation a is the starting point here it could be anything B is a, of course it has to be a positive quantity otherwise the exponential will be going up and we will not have an area equal to 1 so B has to be positive we will also later on see that B is also equal to the average value of the distribution uh, one example here this is used in radar applications where it represents the, the radar uh, the, the raindrop size it's, it can be modeled as exponential in many applications and networking also we use uh, the exponential distribution now we are having an example for the exponential distribution 
kind of practical example. It says here P is the received power by a radar from an aircraft. So we have a radar system which received reflection from aircraft. And we're told that the probability density function follows the following distribution. P0 is the average amount of received power. This is very much similar to the exponential. If I compare it with the exponential, I will find out the following. This is the exponential if you compare them together. B is P0 and A is equal to 0 here. So this is exponential. Now back to the question it says, what is the probability that the received power is above the average? The average is P0. So we are asking the following. We're saying, what is the probability that P is greater than P0? We can flip this by saying it's the complement. It's 1 minus the probability that P is less than or equal to P. Why are we doing this? Because this is the definition of the CDF. So it's 1 minus F of P of P0. Now I'm using the CDF of the exponential with the following parameters. By substitution, you get here e to the power minus. This is going to be 1. So things will add up to e to the power minus 1. The ones will cancel out here. And I get 0.368. So this is not symmetric distribution. 0.368 of the times is above the average. And the remaining uh, chances is below the average. One more distribution is the Rayleigh distribution. It's a very important for wireless application and wireless applications. And uh, it, uh, it's also used in measurements, uh, measurements of errors. So this is how it looks in general. This is just to give you an idea. And there is the CDF associated. Mathematically, the Rayleigh density function is given by the following. You can see that there are two parameters to control. In exponential, we have only one parameter. So we have A and B here. So uh, also in the CDF, of course, it's nothing but the integral of the PDF. This is called the Rayleigh distribution, very, very widely used in wireless communication. Okay, so the constant here, A, is it like a starting point. It's zero before that. So A could be anything. We can shift right or left. We can make A shift uh, to the right. We can start from here, for example, and things will change accordingly. So the value of A is given here. Of course, P will control the shape of uh, the decay of the exponential. All right, fantastic. So we can take one more examples about the relay distribution. In this slide, there are two things, the definition of the median, and we'll give you examples for relay distribution. So what's the median here? The median is defined to be the following. It is the value, it's the value of x for which the probability is 0.5 that the value of x does not exceed the median. This is kind of, more confusing than what it was before the definition. So let's define it in a different way. The value of x such that the probability of being less than x naught is equal to the probability of being greater than x naught. This value is called the median. It's the value where half of the populations are above and half of the populations are below. If you are a student in the class and you are the median, then you know that half of the class is getting above you and half of the class is getting below you. But remember that the median does not equal to the average. Okay. The median is related to the number of students. And I would like you to find out more the difference between the median and the average if you are not sure. For now, the question says clearly defined uh, the median as probability of x less than x naught is equal to probability of x greater than x naught. It says find the median of the relay distribution. So for the Rayleigh distribution, I'm saying the probability of x less than or equal to 0, it's like finding the CDF, and it should be equal to 0.5, right? So it, we can say the median is where the CDF equals to 0.5. Okay, now we have the CDF for the, for the Rayleigh from the previous slide. I'm just substituting in the previous slide. So this is the Rayleigh definition. The question could have been the exponential, whatever. You just need to substitute for the CDF, and that's equal to 0.5. Now, we can solve for the x naught by just arrangement here and looking for x naught, taking the len of both sides so that I get x naught equal to a plus b len to raised to power 0.5, as shown in the expression here. So that's to say we have found the mean, we have to find the median, and later on, of course, we'll, we'll see how to find the mean, given that um, a and b are just constant, they could change. 
So please, if you didn't get the meaning of mean, find out the difference between mean and median or me median and average. Thank you. We'll see you in the coming videos. But remember, this is just an exposure to Poisson, Uniform and other distributions. The objective here is not just to memorize them or so, just to show you that there are different distributions. We'll get back into learn more about random variables. Have a good time.